The research project is uh, looking at the effect of uh, development interventions on migration choices in West Africa. So we're looking at three countries. We're looking at uh, Senegal, Guinea, and the Gambia. And we're trying to understand, uh, as people make decisions, uh, particularly young people make decisions about their future and whether they're going to move, whether that's to a capital city, to another country within West Africa or indeed to Europe or, or further afield, um, what is the influence of uh, development, uh, level of development and particularly development projects uh, when they make those decisions. We think that this is the first time that we've looked specifically at how uh, development intervention, so projects at the local level designed to improve the level of development, how they directly affect migration choices. And, what is particularly innovative about this project is that we're using a multi-method approach with three radically different uh, methods. We have uh, we want to do some um, uh, we want to do some computer modelling, uh, which will take into an idealised computing environment uh, the the essence of the decision that make people make and to try and understand how that changes when you introduce different kinds of policy. So we don't think that that has been done ever. So I think there's, there's real value to universities and policy organizations like IOM uh, working together. Um, from, uh, from my point of view, um, if we don't work with uh, um, organizations that are practically working on the ground, then our theories are just that. They're not grounded. Um, in the, um, you know, the, the work that governments, uh, international agencies, development agencies, even local organizations are doing. So I think it's incredibly important that as we develop our understanding, for example, of why people migrate and what the effect of that is, uh, that that is done alongside um, uh, actors who are working in the field to, you know, to create a better world in practice.